this is the second last session of your course so what we will need what i will need is you should give me a good good energy a good good response so that we can have the best quality learning in last two sessions also tomorrow we are going to finish your entire course of operating system chaliye should we start if we should start then you should tell me are you ready for learning or not tell me you are learning uh, ready for the learning type down in the comment box and we will start the session bolo 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 jaldi bolo bhaiya bolo okay so if you are ready let's begin the session so we were talking about files and their storage as i have already told you that the disk in logical formatting we will have to divide into multiple blocks so that over those blocks we can store the data we can store the files now the file allocation method we are going to learn that when there is a particular you know i should say file system that file system selects which 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 block to store a file if file is larger than a block suppose a block is 1 kilobyte but file size is 4 kilobyte four blocks are needed to store the file yes to store four blocks what four blocks to be needed which four blocks are used to store this particular file operating system should have a particular accountability of that os ko ye pata hona chahiye ki kahan kahan kon kon sa block use hua hai to store this particular file और वही बात होगी क्या होगा फाइल अलोकेशन मेथड में सो द फाइल अलोकेशन मेथड विल एक्चुअली बी यूज्ड टू नो और टू इंडिकेट दैट विच ब्लॉक टू बी यूज टू स्टोर व्हाट फाइल ओके नाउ सी बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी जस्ट आस्क यू अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन सपोज अ डिस्क ब्लॉक कैन बी गिवन एन एड्रेस यूजिंग फोर बिट्स फोर्टीन बिट्स okay and each block size is 1 kilobyte then what can be the maximum size of a file maximum size of a file can be entire disk my entire disk can be used to store the file yes or no yes so what can be the size of disk here what can be the size of disk if 14 bits are required to addressing or to address the block how many number of block we can have total maximum 2 power 14 each block size is 1 kilobyte hence maximum size of file is equal to size of disk and that is equal to 2 power 14 number of blocks each block size is 1 kilobyte becomes 2 power 24 Which is nothing but 16 megabyte. Are you agree with this point? क्या आप लोग इस पॉइंट से एग्री हैं Yep. Okay. Easy, very easy. Fine. Now let's talk about what what kind of blocks and how those blocks are chosen to store a particular file. so the very first thing we are going to know is there are three types of file allocation method the first one is contiguous allocation second is linked allocation third one is indexed allocation okay so what is contiguous allocation before that we will have to assume circum certain circumstances so look at this i have considered that there is a disk in that particular disk i do have 16 number of blocks i have given them numbering 1 to 16 for my regular understanding okay now in this disk when we have 16 number of blocks if operating system will have to save a file that particular file should be stored on contiguous blocks so let's say let's say there is a file that particular file needs three blocks how many blocks three blocks and operating system decided that okay i do have three blocks consecutively starting from 3 or let's say starting from 4 then operating system will have to maintain a table that table we will call as 
फाइल अलोकेशन टेबल क्या बोलेंगे इसे फाइल अलोकेशन टेबल दैट टेबल विल लेट द फाइल सिस्टम नो दैट एग्जैक्टली विच फाइल स्टोर्ड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम विच ब्लॉक एंड हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ कॉन्सिक्यूटिव ब्लॉक्स आर नीडेड टू स्टोर दैट फाइल तो ये जो हमारा फाइल अलोकेशन टेबल है इन दैट फाइल अलोकेशन टेबल वॉट काइंड ऑफ एंट्रीज विल बी देयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी हैविंग ओहो ब्लैक कलर यूज करते हैं फाइल नेम then we will be having second start block number and the third number of blocks for file let's say i do have a file abc dot doc document type file name is abc i do have its starting block is 4 and total number of blocks needed to store is 3 can you tell me what are the blocks which will be used to store that particular file block number 4 block number 5 and block number 6 these three consecutive contiguous blocks will be needed to store this file bada simple sa funda hai samajh mein aaya ki nahi say yes no anything if you understood this let's go for another example let's say we have another file file name is let's say xyz.pdf that file is stored starting from block number 9 and needs five blocks consecutive blocks are needed so 9 10 11 12 and 13 these five blocks are needed Contiguously to store that file. That is the contiguous allocation. समझ में आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा तुमको? Are you able to follow me? Yes or no? Can you tell me so that I can go ahead and explain you further things? Okay. So if you got this, let's go ahead and let's try to understand few more things. okay now in this contiguous allocation how you can access a file if i am saying i want to access the file second block can you access the file ka second block directly yes first block is at 4 then second block directly you can access fifth if i am saying that xyz dot pdf ka third block i want if first block is at 9 second should be at 10th third will be at 11th directly i can go with a simple calculation that third block will be the 11th block i'll go to the 11th block i can access the content directly can i access can i access randomly directly any block yes i can calculate that which particular block you need third one okay third one will be starting from 9 third one will be 11th you want fifth one okay starting from 9 fifth one will be 13th i can access it directly yes and of course i can access it sequentially also how if i want to access entire file sequentially first ninth block then 10 11 12 13 easily i can access yes so we will be having both type of access possible in this contiguous allocation yes but there is a problem problem is let's say this document file you have opened okay and after that you are changing the file size just because you are typing something more in this you are typing 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 you have increased the size now this file needs three more blocks to be stored three more blocks do we have three more blocks consecutively after 6 4 5 6 9 three more blocks you need do we have three more blocks yes or no no we don't have three more blocks so the problem in contiguous allocation is if file size increases then this contiguous allocation will not be good will not be so flexible ki okay three more blocks can be available for us contiguously that can be a problem yes problem ha ji problem so some points i am having here first of all fragmentation in this contiguous allocation you can have internal fragmentation and external fragmentation both 
if file size increases then this method is inflexible plus type of access can be sequential and random both directly you can access a specific block yes and sequentially also you can access the file block yes internal external both will be the problem here it's time to experience something glorious unacademy combat compete crack conquer a challenging get contest engineered to give you an experience like none other where you put your knowledge to test and battle it out with the best to bring out the best in you unacademy combat is the most competitive gamified contest for get till date with the best of the questions by best educators with detailed video solutions from top educators right after each contest combat live with peers to get real time rankings and win big participate in every contest to improve your ratings challenging contests every fortnight or alternate sunday live ranking after every question big rewards for top rankers your passion to crack gate deserves this your hard work towards your dream deserves this fuel your inner fire for the ultimate gate challenge an academy combat register now